Table toppers and the Athletic made the trip north to face Barry Ferguson's Clyde at Broadwood. It was the home side who made a flying start. Quick thinking from Christopher Mitchell, so Archie Campbell threw on the wing to cross for Michael Bolacheski, who headed the ball home for 1 0. Bolacheski with his second league goal for the club. Clyde then won a corner in 15 minutes. Mitchell's delivery found David Gormley, who superbly headed the ball past the keeper. The former Auchinleck Talbot striker found the net for the first time for his new club. And then they got themselves back into the match with smart Oza Dular set up Matthew Flynn who produced this wonderful finish. John Gibson's fingertips weren't enough to stop Flynn finding the net. Flynn then went from hero to zero when his tackle on Sean Higgins saw referee Alan Ewans point to the spot. There was no doubt in the referee's mind. Scott Linton stepped up and restored Clyde's two goal advantage. Despite guessing correctly, Jordan Hart was unable to prevent Clyde scoring. Into the second half and Clyde took advantage of poor goalkeeping from Hart. After the iron keeper flapped at Linton's cross, Gormley set up David Marsh to put Clyde 4-1 ahead. A good finish from Marsh after a terrible attempt to catch from Hart. However, Adam were granted a late lifeline when Ryan McStay's corner found a trialist whose header was bungled into the net by Gibson. It proved just to be a consolation though as it finished Clyde 4 and Athletic 2.